Chef Des coming at you from my kitchen again, and today I'm working with Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry to bring you a classic Japanese dish called an Oyakodon. This is one of the most common and popular Japanese home cooking dishes because it's nutritious, delicious, but yet extremely easy to prepare. It's a dish that both kids and adults will enjoy. Oyakodon is a chicken and egg rice bowl. Oyako means parents and child, and don is the abbreviation of donburi, which means rice bowl in English. And this is my take on this classic Japanese dish using more readily available North American ingredients, but I'll show you what those are and what they're replacing. And for this dish, we're using Yarrow Meadow boneless skinless chicken thighs. These chicken thighs are from chickens that are raised locally and without the use of antibiotics. The first thing we're gonna do is get some of the prep done. So we're gonna be using three eggs that's a lot of eggs for one portion, and that's what this recipe is, one portion. I like a lot of egg. You can use two if you like to, but I like this dish more set up like an omelet, so I find three works better. And for this recipe, we're gonna be using an eight inch pan. If you want two servings at once, then I would recommend using a 10 inch pan, using five eggs and two to three chicken thighs. This dish, we're using three eggs and one chicken thigh. And for the eggs, I'm gonna crack two of them into one bowl and one in the other. And what you want to do with those eggs is just beat them a little bit. Japanese like to use chopsticks to do this. It works really good. So just bust up the yolks and just briefly mix them up. So they're beaten, but they're still separate, the yolk and the white. There's the two eggs in one, and we'll do this one single egg in the other. And we'll just set those aside till later. The other bit of prep I want to show you is the green onion. So for the green onion, we're going to have the white part and the green part separate in the recipe. So I'll cut it there. For the white part, we're gonna be cooking that in the dish. So I'm just gonna trim off that little hairy bit at the end, and then you can slice this any way you like. And we're gonna add that to one portion cup over here. And for the green part, we're gonna use this for garnish. So I want you to cut this at an angle so it looks really nice for our garnish at the very end. And we'll reserve that in a little dish as well. We're gonna take an eight inch pan and we're gonna put over medium high heat. Let that pan heat up a little bit. And the first thing we're gonna do is cook the chicken. You'll find a lot of classic preparation for oyokodon where they don't fry the chicken first. They just put the chicken raw in the broth. And you can do that. You're gonna have more chicken flavor in the broth. But today we're gonna to be using chicken broth instead of one of the classic ingredients. So there's already chicken flavor in there. So I wanna take an opportunity to brown the chicken first to get some nice flavors in this dish. We're gonna add just a tiny bit of oil and just swirl that oil around. And we're going to take one chicken thigh that's been cubed up, bite-sized pieces, and we're going to put it in the pan, and we're going to cook that until brown. This part will take approximately three to four minutes, stirring occasionally. Once the chicken is done, I want you to turn your heat to medium, and then we're going to remove the chicken and reserve it. To this pan on medium heat, we're gonna use five tablespoons of chicken broth, four teaspoons of fortified wine or sherry, and four teaspoons of soy sauce. The soy sauce is traditional, that's always used. Normally in Oyakodon, they would use mirin, which is a Japanese rice wine, which has a higher sugar content and a lower alcohol content. Instead of that, I use the fortified wine, and usually dashi is used for the broth, which is a Japanese stock. Instead, we're using chicken broth, and if you have them on hand from visiting an Asian supermarket, you can add a pinch of bonito flakes to give it some more umami flavor. That part's not necessary, but it's an option for you. So we're just gonna stir those ingredients together. We're gonna to add one teaspoon of minced ginger. There's the white part of the green onion that we sliced. And then a quarter of a medium onion sliced thin. The onion is very traditional in this dish. You just wanna stir that together and simmer that in the broth for four minutes. You're just waiting for the onions to get tender. At the two minute mark, I want you to add in the reserved chicken and then keep cooking that for two more minutes. Now that's cooked for four minutes total, two minutes, then add the chicken, and then two more minutes, we're gonna add the two eggs first. And another thing I learned, the Japanese use their chopsticks to help the egg to go in slowly into the pan. And we're just gonna do that and drizzle the egg slowly into the pan. 
And by having it not mix so much, you're going to get the different colors and the different textures from the white and the yolk. And we're going to let that cook like that for about three minutes until the eggs are mostly set. And once those two eggs are mostly set, we're going to add our third egg now. And you just pour that, again, slowly over the top. You can let that cook to your desired doneness. If you want it well done, then you can put a lid on top and that will fully cook the eggs on the top. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, it looks beautiful. And you just cook it to your desired doneness, whatever you like, however done you like your eggs. You notice that we're not seasoning with salt and pepper either on top, which is normally done in an omelet situation because we have that four teaspoons of soy sauce in there already. And then you're just gonna loosen it all the way around the pan and then gently transfer that onto a bowl of steamed rice, slowly right onto the top. And for presentation, I just tuck in the sides a little bit. And I like seeing the different colors of the yellow and the white on the top. Looks fantastic. And that lovely green onion that we sliced on a diagonal right on top. And there you have my version of Oya Kodon. You're gonna love this dish. Get these locally farmed premium chicken products at fbsp.ca and enjoy them delivered straight to your doorstep. You don't have to go anywhere. This is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your poultry from?